The word capilla in Latin means hair like. A capillary tube is a tube having very fine diameter. When such a tube is placed inside a liquid, the level of liquid inside the tube rises or falls in the tube. This rise or fall of a liquid in a capillary tube is called capillary action or capillarity. Capillarity is of two types, capillary rise and capillary fall. In capillary rise, the liquid has tendency to rise in tubes of small diameter in opposition to external forces like gravity. Capillary rise occurs if the angle of contact of the liquid with the surface of the tube is an acute angle. The rise of water in a glass capillary tube is an example of capillary rise. In capillary falls, the liquid has tendency to be depressed in tubes of small diameter in opposition to external forces like gravity. Capillary fall occurs if the angle of contact of the liquid with the surface of the tube is an obtuse angle. The fall of mercury level in a glass capillary tube is an example of such case. The rise or fall of the liquid in the tube depends on the diameter of the bore and the density of the liquid. Capillarity is the one of the consequence of pressure difference across a curved liquid air interface. Three types of forces derive the capillary action. They are surface tension, cohesive force and adhesive force. The capillary action of a liquid is the consequence of surface tension of the liquid. Decreased surface tension increases capillary action as the intermolecular forces are decreased. Adhesive and cohesive forces interacting between the liquid and the surface also determine the capillary action. Capillary action only occurs when the adhesive forces are stronger than the cohesive forces. Mercury has a convex meniscus due to strong cohesive forces. While water has a concave meniscus due to strong adhesive force. Height of the liquid rise in a capillary tube is given by the formula as depicted on screen. Height of the liquid rise in a capillary tube varies inversely as the radius of the tube. If theta is obtuse, then we get a negative value for H. This means that the liquid level will fall inside the capillary tube. Many everyday phenomena are the result of capillary action. For example, the fine pores in the blotting paper soak coffee. The action of towel in soaking up the moisture from hands or the body. The oil in an oil wick rises up through the narrow spaces between the threads of the wick. And the flow of ink into the tip of the fountain pen. All these are because of capillary action.